first order of business is taking out the gauge cluster. And the reason for this is because we're trying to access our uh, tack wire, which is this yellow wire right here. Next, we're going to have to access our ABS and TCS module, which is located down there. And to access our ABS and TCS module, we got to remove this lower panel. And with the lower steering column panel out the way, the last step we have is removing this air duct. And there's our ABS and TCS module. Output 5 goes to the yellow wire behind our speedometer. And then these two, input and negative speed, this is going to our ABS sensor. Ignition ground, self-explanatory. So the ABS sensors are actually color-coded, and you can find them right here. So this one is for the rear driver's side. I think get the camera to focus. And so for the rear driver's side, we have brown and red and black. So we're going to look for these two color codes under our ABS module. In our ABS module, we can see our second plug. We can find the brown and then we can find the red and black wire. So it's the same color code as our ABS wheel sensor wire colors. So what we're going to do is we're going to splice the positive one to the brown wire and the negative one to the red and black wire. So the positive brown wire goes to input. Red and black negative wire goes to speed negative. So for those who are curious, I put my ground wire onto this little bolt right here. And then I put my ignition wire into this guy right here, since it turns on when the key is in the on position. And of course you want to give it a test before you put everything back together. And looks like we have power.
Okay, now that we're done with that, we're gonna grab our phone and then we're gonna make sure it's in kilometers per hour. Then we're gonna mount our phone somewhere on our car. And then we're gonna take it on a drive while adjusting our speed with this guy. So I will put the instructions on screen, but basically you're gonna press the increase or decrease button and you're gonna make sure your speedometer matches the GPS on your phone. And once it matches up, just park the car and turn it off and it'll save the settings.